Good to see you, man. How you doing? I'm great. Okay, Brian, perfect. this looks actually so sick. Doesn't hey. it look sick? Yeah. No, this looks good. Yeah. This looks epic. This looks great. Bro, look at the moon. You ready? Yo. <laughs> All right. Danger. Okay, let's do this. Oh, that is intense. No, no, it looks good. This is it here. First steps up the mountain. Should be a pretty basic climb. Is that a scorpion? Is there any danger to going up this early? Actually, dude, um, I don't want to tweak you out, but there are um, <laughs> there's scorpions, bro. Giant scorpions. They hide under the rocks. At night? Yeah, like now. Three o'clock in the morning is like spike time. Snakes, scorpions, spiders. Dude, we in Africa, bro. That is bright. I can almost see you without any light. This is this is what I look like. Just moonlight. That's how bright it is up here right now. This is just moonlight. Did you say scorpion cave? Yeah, we're going to scorpion cave, dude. That's why I've got long socks on, bro. I didn't um I didn't know about the long sock thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, alright, let's go. Let's do this. Bats. Bats and scorpions. It's scary? Yeah. Fucking <laughs> moon. So this is a cave that Dan found up here that we haven't seen any scorpions or, or bats despite his titling it the scorpion cave. We're taking a quick stop to take some pictures of this cave. By the way, this, this crazy blue light you're seeing, Dan brought that blue light. You going up there? Yeah, bro, but I'm surveilling. For scorpions? Do you see any? I'm telling you, you know, these are sand scorpions. They come out from under the rocks. We gotta hurry. It's okay. getting light out. Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go. I kick it up, fuck mad shit. Kicking up, speak it, speak it easy on my plastic. Bad shit with true feet and breezy on the couch at the back of the room. The sun's coming up. Table Mountain. How you feeling? Good. All right, let's keep, <laughs> <laughs> let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. There he is. There he is, right there. He's coming. He's coming. Nearly there, bro. Nearly there. I'd wait for you, Dan, but the sun waits for no man. I can see the peak. This is the top, and we made it here just in time for the sun to come up. And look who's joining us. Even if you gave me the time to shout my channel out here, yeah, I wouldn't be able to do it right now. Bro. <laughs> Come on, let's get to the peak. Right, so this is it. We made it. We're at the peak. And now, let me present you with beauty. Ready? Peter McKinnon, this one's for you. Why'd you call me after dark? Never feel alone 
Hi, I'm Casey. That's my girlfriend Gabs. Hi. Nice. You so you so beautiful. Thank you. you are beautiful. Is that an appropriate music? No, no, you can say. You it. are beautiful. <laughs> Bye, baby. Dude, I hate to break it to you, but we're going to a shark-infested bay today. Oh, he says that. There's an island out there called Shark Island. It's actually called Seal Island, but I call it Shark Island because basically the sharks eat the seals. And I mean, that's about a few kilometers away from where we're surfing and our wetsuits are black and we're going to look like seals, which in turn kind of makes us shark bait. You know what I mean? Casey. Good to meet you, Paul. Which one of these boards is best for me? We got a whole bunch of them. Oh, the scariest, fantastic. The scariest looking boards you're going to come across. They are all Grant Baker's, Grant Twiggy Breakers boards. Grant Twiggy Baker's the be best, biggest wave surfer in the world, and he's South African. Needs a plug for South Africa. So we're, I'm going to ride on the best big wave surfer in the world's surfboards? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is it, yeah, this blue thing. Do you think I'll be the worst surfer ever to ride on the best surfer ever surfboards? Yeah, yeah. Alright, alright, yeah, let's go. Have you got the shark repellent? Okay, nice. Good, good. Yo, slip into the place with my face off. Backpack stack in my patches and stamp it. Being a Cape Town citizen, I'm obligated to take you through the rules of the shark encounter. Three words. Be shark wise. Basically means don't go in the water, but you were really wanting to, so it's a bit faded here, but it, I mean, very risky. That one there just says sharks bite people. And what do you do if someone is bitten? No, this is what I was telling you about the harbor scenario. Brings in the sharks. What's going on here? No, he's been bitten. Pumping magic. Molly pop a motherfucker sucker face. Rubber lipping up a case amazing. Falling going crazy. Future mad pretty though. Pictures in my brain making cool rap videos. Hands down. Alright, we're going and surfing now. I'm gonna switch from this camera to the GoPro. Ready? Can you notice a difference? Ah, looks cold. Here? Yeah, so, stop, 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 stop. What we usually do here is just observe. Oh, there's a wave. Guns up, tell them what the fuck's up. Punch ups and slow mouth. How much for the phobics and drown clowns and motions. Kick a fucking door down, exploding compulsions. Naked in an ocean of coldness. Fucking with the motion of shit. Trying to suck the blood from my vampire dick. Some hang wire shit. Leave me in peace, breathe my nature. Number of the beast is the number for my agent. I see. <laughs> See what happened was there there was a moment that it was a very possible shock um but obviously the cameras weren't there nobody <laughs> saw it but i saw it <laughs> yeah dan cuts out casey comes in there's this guy right here the guy uh, the blue ball. dude that looks sick no i think that looks good Man, that looked good. You should think about doing this for a living. I know, I should think about it. Just kidding, he's a professional surf photographer. Thanks, Paul. Good work. Yeah, well, hopefully we can make a movie. Late night, overdose. One more time when you're home,
Oh, oh, oh.